This one is called UGIT and basically is a download manager. I like this one the best so far because it's really slick and it looks really nice. Um, so this is what it looks like. You know, a simple interface. And they do have some options in here. Let me see what you can do. Um, you can um, copy from clipboard, uh, do a batch download. The batch download is kind of different. It's basically you're doing like a sequence kind of thing. Like if the files for like 0 to 10, uh, you can do that. Or like A to Z. So it's kind of like a leeching um, you know, process where you can do that. What, let me see what else here. Uh, you can monitor your clipboard just like with any other uh, ones out there. So you can do some options here. So if it's like a, you know, a zip file or bin file or any of these files here, you can add your own in if uh, you like. But uh, basically they have all the ones here already. And whenever you, you grab that from your clipboard, it will just pop up a uh, a thing here. So let me show you that. Okay, so let me show you. So let's say I copy uh, this link. It has a um, zip file. And you see it pops up like that. Really nice. Dig it. And uh, you can save it to whatever folder you want. Not really that big of a deal. Uh, what else is this? Uh, they have a delay proxy, uh, you know, standard stuff. So, click OK, and it should download. And there you go, it's downloading. It's done. When it's done, it should be uh, in here. It says completed. Say, so not a big deal. It's the standard stuff, kind of like Flash Git and a uh, Flash Got and all that. <coughs> Uh, let me see what else is there. Settings. Oh, uh, if you trade, uh, if you're grabbing like torrents, you can actually set up your own, um, you know, whatever torrent client you're using. Not a big deal there. What else is there? Uh, that's pretty much it. I like this one. If you're gonna use a download manager, I would say this one. Uh, it's pimp to me. It has a, a nice U, uh, UI and everything. Uh, so that's it. Go and get it.